but I kind of want to elaborate on specifically what I do with my signing bonus because uh, it's kind of interesting, cool little story, fun little story if you haven't heard it before. So I was drafted in the eighth round. I got $25,000. Uh, they took taxes out of that. I think I ended up getting a check for, I don't know, maybe $17,000. Big, big fat check for 17 Gs, you know, and I thought I was balling. I thought I made it big time, right? That was the most money I ever had in my life. And so first thing I did was bought a bicycle because I didn't have a car at the time and we were in Eugene, Oregon and a bunch of us went and bought bicycles, little BMX bicycles and uh, we were riding those around town because only one guy had a car on the team and not everybody got to fit in that one car so we just bought bicycles, that's what we did. It was only like a mile to the park, there was a lot of food on the way so we could you know, stop at the little, uh, uh, what's, what was that place called the P with the pitas, you remember the pitas? Pita Pit. They had a Pita Pit there. We'd always stop at the Pita Pit. Um, and then the field was right down the way. We'd have the spread there and stuff. So we didn't really need a car. So I spent probably, you know, a hundred bucks on a bicycle. Um, and then I went over to the Apple store and I bought the very first iPod that there ever was. And this thing was huge. So this is my phone right here, right? This is um, iPhone uh, 7, I think. And this iPod was bigger than this thing and it was thicker might not have been as tall but it was definitely wider and definitely thicker this way and the only thing it did was play songs that's it it didn't do anything else it might have had like a uh, like a tetris game on there or something like that but that was the only thing it did was play songs and that thing was five hundred dollars so i bought the, the the ipod for five hundred dollars just to play some music it held like a thousand songs uh and you know, that was a big deal back then because we were still listening to CDs. All the laptops and stuff still had the CD slot in there, the DVD slot, you know? People were still carrying around books of DVDs on the bus trips to watch movies and stuff. So having that iPod right here with a thousand songs on it, that was a big deal. I was big pimping with my iPod, okay? So that was another 500 gone right off the bat. Then I had uh, bought a laptop and I bought a Dell because Apple wasn't like big right then. I know I bought the iPod, but again, that was the first iPod, big fat thing. They weren't popping off like they are nowadays where everyone's got the Apple stuff. So I bought the Dell and it was like, it was like 1700, I think when it was all said and done. Cause when I was going through the website, they would just give me these customizations and I had the big $17,000 fat check in my pocket. I was just said, yep, I want that. Yep, I want that. Yep, I want, and just kept adding on money and money and money. And next thing you know, it was $1,700 gone for a laptop and that thing only lasted me like three years and then it crashed. So um, that was probably not a great investment, but that's what I did. Those were my first three purchases. Um, after that, um, I kind of just used it along the, the next few years to, uh, to buy food and pay bills and stuff because you know, in the minor leagues, my first year, I think I was getting 900 a month minus taxes minus the clubhouse dues, minus the hotel fees. Um, this is in Eugene, Oregon, my first year, short season. And so we would get a check for like maybe 200 bucks every other week. So I had to use some of that other money to pay for stuff. Now I talked about in that other video, some of the first round guys or higher round guys that got the big money, we call them the bonus babies. And they're supposed to kind of take care of the guys who didn't have um, a lot of money and in fact I was one of the guys with a little bit of money you know 17,000 there was guys that didn't get anything to sign you know they just got a plane ticket so the guys with a lot of money million dollar guys you know a couple uh, 800,000 500,000 dollar guys you know they're supposed to like buy pizza and buy drinks and stuff like that that's that's the way it goes uh, in the minor leagues and luckily I was surrounded with a bunch of good guys in that regard so all the bonus babies in my group always took care of everyone. I tried to take care of anyone who was, uh, you know, needed it or whatever. But um, yeah, that's what I did with my signing bonus. Just spent it over time, over like three years. Little things here and there. Bills and food, mostly food. Oh, so my sister just reminded me I bought a house too, but a uh, down payment. But actually, no, I borrowed that money. So, well, I mean, I had a little money left over, but I mean, it helped. It helped to buy the house, but I borrowed some money to buy a house. I bought a house um, and couldn't afford to live in it, <laughs> but bought a house and got renters in it. Um, and I had renters in it for, luckily I had good renters. I had like three different renters, right? Yeah. And luckily they were all good. Some of them stayed two years, one year. And then finally, by the time I was able to afford it, uh, then I got the renters out of there. And then me and my wife 
uh, moved in there. I forgot about that. Thank you. Um, and then Q was asking who were some of the, the guys above me, uh, rounders. Uh, my year that I got drafted was uh, Cesar Carrillo. He was, uh, I don't know if you remember him, he was the stud out of Miami University. He was like 28 and 0 or something crazy as a pitcher with the ERA, like super crazy. So he, he was uh, number one. Uh, Cesar Ramos, we had uh, Chase Headley. He's still up in the big leagues, I think. He played with the Padres, uh, Yankees for a little bit. I don't know who he's with now, but he was second round, I believe. Third round, I don't remember who the third round was. Uh, Josh Alley was fourth round. He was from Tennessee. So was Chase Headley was Tennessee as well. Um, Josh Alley, love that guy, man. He was so funny. I haven't heard from him in a year. Josh, if you watch my videos, call me or join Facebook or Instagram or something. I haven't heard from you. Uh, fifth round, I think, was Seth Johnson. He, he was either fifth or sixth. No, he was fifth. Seth, oh no, he was fourth. That was no third. He was the guy I forgot. Oh, and Seth Johnson was in there somewhere, <laughs> but he was from Texas, uh, and then uh, he was my roommate too. Me, uh, Seth Johnson, Stevie Delabar, who ended up making it to the Major League All Stars after being released um, in High A, came back, made it to the MLB All Star. But he wasn't um, above me on the on the draft list. In fact, I don't remember when he got drafted. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure if it was even the same year. It might have been the year before. But he was my roommate. And then Brandon Higlin, who's a pitching coach in college right now. He's from California. Um, but then who else did we have before me was, I said Seth Johnson, seventh round. Uh, I think, uh, oh, Neil Jamison, pitcher from California. Um, real good pitcher, closing pitcher. Uh, and he was drafted. He was drafted sixth round or seventh round. Oh, Will Venable. That was the other one. Will, how, I'm sorry, Will. I can't believe I forgot you. Will Venable, his dad was Max Venable. Dad was one of our coaches, um, in fact, in the Padres organization. Will, great guy, great player. Um, and he played in the big leagues for a while. And I forgot another one, um, Nick Hunley. I can't believe he was the second round guy. Nick Hunley was second round. I forget all these guys. It's been a while, man. I try to keep up with everyone. It's just been a while. My brain is gone. I was just on vacation, so I. I'm not thinking right, but those were the guys. I love all those guys. Love everybody else below, but you were asking who was above the bonus babies or whatever. Not all those guys got paid super crazy, um, but some of them did get some good bucks. Um, they all got more than me if they were above me right there, you know, with the 17, 17 Gs, but uh, I thought I was balling with that money. <laughs>